Um, well, I first started when I was about 12 years old. Um, I used to do gymnastics and then I got into trampolining because I was too scared to do gymnastics. Oh gosh, she was about 11 years old and she looked really neat. When we first spied for Victoria when she was in one of the prelim classes, which is our, like, our beginner classes, we noticed there was talent there because Jim, Victoria had a gymnastics background and so she was very neat but it's whether she could control it. So from an early age, from when she first started, we knew there was something there. Well, I train Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Um, and then I do lessons on my own as well on some of those days. So it's got to be about 12 hours a week. I do a lot of my work in school, in my freeze and after school. I stay till I stay for about an hour and a half after school most days um, to get all my work done. And then I don't. I only train Saturday about one o'clock to three o'clock. So I have the rest of the day and all of Sunday to do whatever I need. I wanted to do gymnastics, and uh, she got scared. She came to trampolining, and. I was always scared of trampolining, so it's something that I didn't want her to do. So she's doing it because she really loves it, not because I wanted her to do it. Proudest moment of her trampolining journey, would you say? When she was selected to compete for Great Britain. Right. Proud feel? Oh, really proud. Really proud. Yeah. yeah. Victoria, when she was at one of the galas, when she was, and she came second after Dana, so that was kind of a big where she kind of put herself out there, and people like started going, well, oh, she, you know, she's now one of the top girls. They'd have to be winning league finals um, last November, I think it was. Um, no, December. Last December, winning league finals. I was in three groups and I won all three and a bit of money as well, which helps. <laughs> I think she's more sociable. She's more confident. She has a wider network of friends. She's fitter. She's happier when she's jumped and then she works harder on her schoolwork because she's nice and comfortable and happy. Yeah, it, it, everyone enjoys it, you know, you don't have to take it totally serious. It's quite a fun sport and it's very good for your posture and good fun for everyone to meet people. So yeah, very good. Well, literally everybody can do it. We have special needs people jumping and you can go along to adult sessions. Children can do it with their parents. It's just an all-round sport for anybody who wants to try it.